You'll see ng init used quite a bit in really simple examples just to get up and running really quickly because you can pretty much put any expression in here, you know, create a variable that you can show inside of your template or your HTML. But you should really avoid using it where, wherever, whenever you can, except for this very rare scenario where uh, a, they say it's a special property in ng repeat. Uh, the example they give here is index, and that means that if you have like an outer index and an inner index where you're repeating through two different uh, values or lists, then you'd actually need it to show an outer index and inner index because the dollar sign would just refer to this one and you'd lose the reference to this one. So this is like the one tiny use case that you'd use ng init for. Otherwise, just keep on using uh, your scopes and your controllers to expose properties for HTML and avoid using ng init altogether.